In the distant east, on the boundless stretches of the steppes, an empire rose with a might that reverberated across the known world. Hearing the words, Mongol Empire, what images are conjured in your mind? Is it the endless tide of battle horses, vast dominions spanning horizons, or perhaps the unparalleled leader, Genghis Khan, whose name still echoes through the annals of history? Today, however, we introduce you to four generals, some celebrated, some forgotten by time. Their tactical genius and valor on the battlefield were instrumental in cementing the Mongol Empire's position as the world's foremost superpower of its era. Their narratives are woven with cunning, betrayal, allegiance, and sacrifice. Behind each tale lies an epic odyssey that challenges the very fabric of legend. For those intrigued by how these individuals transformed from mere Mongol soldiers to generals who reshaped world history, this exploration is indispensable. Join us today as we delve deeply into the unparalleled journeys of these four generals, witnessing their eternal footprints on the chronicles of time. Born into nobility, Subutai's father was an intimate ally of Genghis Khan himself. This pedigree meant he was groomed from a young age, undergoing rigorous military training and strategic education. In his youth, his leadership prowess and military acumen set him apart in numerous battles. His capabilities won not just the admiration of his peers, but also of his superiors. In one notable engagement, Subutai masterfully directed his forces, outsmarting the enemy and achieving victory through ambush tactics. This triumph drew the keen attention of Genghis Khan. When faced with the formidable Jin dynasty, Subutai took an unconventional path. Eschewing a direct confrontation with this vast empire, he skillfully deployed surprise attacks and ambushes, delivering blows the Jin dynasty could never have anticipated. This strategy not only conserved Mongol manpower, but also threw the Jin dynasty's defenses into unexpected chaos. When the Mongol hordes turned their attention to the western Xi, Subutai's strategic genius was once again on full display. He consistently struck when the enemy least expected, leveraging natural conditions to his advantage. Even when confronted with seemingly impregnable walls, he never wavered. Resolutely, he directed his forces in fierce sieges, ensuring cities fell under his command. Subutai's next challenges were the powerful European nations, boasting deep military traditions and formidable castle defenses. Yet, these were no impediments to him. During his confrontations with the Kipchaks, Subutai ingeniously utilized the terrain and the enemy's strategic blind spots, launching swift raids that caught the Kipchaks off guard. In battles against the Kievan Rus, he displayed masterful military arrangements, ensnaring the enemy in dire situations before delivering the decisive blow. However, what people often speak of most enthusiastically is his campaign against Hungary. Subutai, the Mongol strategist, demonstrated profound insight and understanding. Faced with Hungary's formidable heavy cavalry, he avoided direct confrontation on open plains. Instead, he astutely chose terrains with complexity as battlegrounds, hindering the heavy Hungarian cavalry from exploiting their typical charge advantages. Concurrently, Subutai leveraged the unique capabilities of the Mongol light cavalry. These cavalries were nimble and swift on the battlefield, able to execute multiple raids and retreats in a short span of time. Under Subutai's command, these light cavalry functioned like sharp daggers, repeatedly piercing through Hungarian defenses and inflicting severe casualties. This strategy, synthesizing terrain and troop strengths, secured the Mongol army a dominant edge in the conflict against Hungary. Subutai's military tactics exhibited immense foresight and creativity. He had a knack for discerning enemy vulnerabilities and devising impeccable battle plans. 
With such strategic prowess, he successfully vanquished the European powers of his era, establishing an indelible legacy for the Mongol Empire in Europe. An esteemed general from the early days of the Mongol Empire, Jabi was one of Genghis Khan's right-hand men. While much of his early life remained shrouded in mystery, he rose to prominence during Genghis Khan's legendary campaigns, establishing himself as a formidable military tactician. Often hailed as one of Khan's most trusted generals, Jebi played pivotal roles in numerous iconic battles, driving the great Khan's conquest dreams to fruition. His place in Mongol history is particularly noteworthy for his leadership during the war against the Khwarezmian Empire. The Khwarezmians, among Central Asia's most powerful entities at the time, saw their clash with the Mongols unfold into a chapter of monumental historical significance. Appointed as a senior commander for the Mongol forces during the Khwarezmian conflict, JB aided Genghis Khan in strategy formulation and execution. His stellar performance during this war showcased his unmatched military acumen and leadership prowess. His tactical brilliance was most evident during sieges. Under Jebe's command, the Mongol forces executed intricate siege strategies, which involved the establishment of encirclements, erecting towering barriers to obscure city walls, and systematically tearing down defensive fortifications. Jebe's strategies cornered the Khwarezmian forces within their city walls, forcing them to defend under incredibly challenging conditions while disrupting their supply lines and provisions. Jebe leveraged the Mongol army's strengths, particularly their unparalleled horse archery skills. Throughout the sieges, his forces unleashed powerful arrow volleys against the city's defenders, gaining an edge in external skirmishes. Additionally, he astutely capitalized on the Mongol army's rapid mobility, swiftly countering the Khwarezmian counterattacks. Under Jebi's leadership, the Mongols scored several victories, not only putting the Khwarezmian empire in a tough spot, but also solidifying the Mongol foothold in Central Asia. Furthermore, the Mongol army, marching under Jebe, always maintained ample food and water supplies. Through meticulous resource planning and appropriate food reserves, he ensured his troops never faced hunger or thirst during their campaigns. Jebe prioritized the security of the supply lines, realizing it was crucial to ensure resources reached the front lines unhindered. Measures were in place, including patrolling and guarding supply routes to prevent enemy assaults or sabotage. Jebe pioneered an efficient transportation and logistics system, ensuring that resources were delivered right where the army needed them and right on time. This system guaranteed the army's mobility and adaptability, allowing them to thrive in a variety of terrains and weather conditions. Jebe's standout performance in the Khwarezmian campaign was pivotal in the Mongol Empire's conquest of the Khwarezmian realm paving the way for Genghis Khan's broader conquests. His military acumen, leadership qualities, and attention to logistical detail played a profoundly influential role in shaping the outcome of this historical event. Introducing Kublai, a standout general of the Mongol Empire. Yet, compared to some of the illustrious commanders of the time, his early life and upbringing were relatively humble. Born in the 12th century, he hailed from the Ba'aran tribe. In the tribal culture of Mongolia, one's clan and lineage heavily influenced their social standing. However, what set Kublai apart wasn't just his background, but his innate talent and courage. As the nascent Mongol Empire was forming, Genghis Khan was on the lookout, assembling and molding a team of loyal commanders. It was against this backdrop that Kublai began to make a name for himself. Starting possibly as a mere foot soldier under Genghis Khan, he quickly climbed the ranks, owing to his exceptional leadership and military acumen displayed on the battlefield. 
His claim to fame was a particular encounter where he managed to land a shot on an enemy chief during a skirmish. Genghis Khan, deeply impressed by this feat, not only elevated his position but also bestowed upon him the name Kublai, which translates to arrow. As the Mongol Empire expanded its borders, Kublai was front and center in numerous campaigns, ranging from battles in Central Asia to military onslaughts against the Jin Dynasty and Western Shia. Beyond his skills with a bow and arrow, Kublai boasted a sharp tactical mind. His strategic prowess was particularly lauded during the campaigns against the Jin Dynasty. Facing the formidable Jin, Kublai devised a series of military strategies that included dispersing the enemy, deploying swift-moving light cavalry for surprise assaults, and adeptly choosing battlegrounds that put the enemy on the defensive. A firm believer in mobile warfare, he emphasized the role of light cavalry. By swiftly targeting the enemy's vulnerabilities and then rapidly withdrawing, he left adversaries scrambling and unable to mount an effective resistance. Such tactics allowed the Mongol forces to triumph, even when they were outnumbered. Under Genghis Khan's command, Kublai delved deep into Central Asia, capturing several crucial cities and regions. His strategic genius shone brightly during the war against the Khwarezm Empire. While laying siege to the formidable cities of Bukhara and Samarkand, he ingeniously employed a mix of encirclement and psychological warfare, forcing the enemy to capitulate. In the conquest of Persia, Kublai showcased his decisive decision-making and unparalleled grasp over the dynamics of war. Leading the formidable Mongol army, Kublai swiftly conquered numerous Persian cities in a short span. His forces were infamous for their ruthless massacres, instilling fear in the heart of the Persian populace, causing many to surrender without a fight. These campaigns not only solidified the Mongol Empire's dominance in Asia, but also catapulted Kublai to international fame. He was heralded as a military prodigy of his era. Kublai's legacy isn't just a tale of valiant conquests, it's a masterclass in military strategy. His emphasis on intelligence gathering, flexible troop deployment, and adjusting tactics based on the enemy's strength and the terrain set a benchmark for future military leaders and strategists. His philosophies and tactics in warfare have had a profound impact on many subsequent historical events, especially within military spheres. Jelmi, a shining star amidst Genghis Khan's roster of generals, may not have the household recognition of some Mongol Empire's renowned leaders, but he holds an irreplaceable position in the annals of history. His association with Genghis Khan can only be described as a twist of fate. Their first encounter wasn't at some grand feast on the vast steppes, but amidst the smoky chaos of battle. At the time, Genghis Khan was just a valiant tribal warrior, and Jelmi, intriguingly, was on the opposing side. Despite their adversarial roles, Genghis was quickly taken by Jelmi's strategic brilliance and bravery. Post-war, Genghis reached out to Jelm, expressing admiration for his valor and intelligence, and extended an invitation to join his ranks. Seeing Genghis Khan's grand vision and unparalleled charisma, and realizing the larger role he could play in this burgeoning force, Jelma accepted. Thus began a deep alliance and partnership that would mark numerous pages in the books of history. Jelmi's name is etched with awe in the campaign logs under Genghis Khan, showcasing numerous astounding military feats. He played pivotal roles in multiple invasions of Central Asia and Persia, orchestrating and executing strategic marvels. During the conquest of Central Asia, Jelmi's ingenious strategies resulted in the fall of fortified cities and the defeat of formidable foes. His military acumen was on full display against the Persian Sasanian dynasty, 
where he shattered the once powerful nation's defenses, consolidating Mongol rule in Central Asia. Jelmy was also a pioneer in warfare tactics, like the feigned retreat strategy designed to lure enemies deeper, only to surround and obliterate them. On the battlefield, he had a knack for pinpointing an adversary's weak spot, delivering the killing blow. His swift tactical decisions and strategies often left the enemy ensnared in his traps before they could even react. Masterfully blending traditional Mongol-like cavalry tactics with innovative strategic thought, he curated a unique martial art form. For instance, he integrated the high mobility of Mongol cavalry with surprise attack tactics, often surrounding unsuspecting foes before they realize the peril. Jelmy wasn't just a military mastermind. He was a firm believer in the power of intelligence. He considered information as the cornerstone of warfare. Only by thoroughly understanding the enemy, he believed, could one craft the perfect strategy to defeat them. Jelme, the remarkable general of the Mongol Empire, occupies a prestigious spot in the annals of history, often hailed as the shadow sword of the empire. His keen strategic insight, unparalleled command artistry, and numerous battlefield victories have immortalized him in Mongol lore. Genghis Khan's establishment of a vast empire spanning Asia and Europe wasn't a one-man show. The indelible contributions of Jelme were indispensable to that monumental achievement. Subutai. A strategic visionary, Subutai orchestrated ingenious military maneuvers that led the Mongol Empire to astonishing victories in numerous battles. Whether it was facing the mighty Jin dynasty, the Western Shia, or even on expeditions to Europe, Subutai always showcased unparalleled military wisdom. Jaba. Often referred to as the Master of Arrows, Jebe was one of Genghis Khan's early and vital generals. His exceptional military prowess, coupled with unwavering loyalty, positioned him as Genghis Khan's dependable right-hand man, leading the charge and achieving remarkable feats in multiple campaigns. Kublai Beyond his distinguished battlefield exploits, Kublai played a crucial role within the Mongol Empire's infrastructure. He established effective military organizations and management mechanisms. His profound bond with Genghis Khan ensured that he played pivotal roles during the nascent stages of the empire. Jelma, a name that resonates vibrantly through the pages of history. Renowned for his strategic and tactical acumen, Jelma adeptly merged traditional Mongol tactics with innovative strategies. He broke through the defenses of various nations, paving the way for the Mongol Empire to annex vast territories. These four iconic generals each brought their own unique flair and expertise, playing pivotal roles in shaping the majestic Mongol Empire. They've gifted us with a treasure trove of historical narratives and ingenious battle strategies. Yet, their most profound legacy is a demonstration of how wisdom, bravery, and leadership can truly reshape the course of global history. Dear viewers, thank you so much for joining us as we delved into the legendary tales of the four Mongol generals. If you're intrigued by the riveting history of Hannibal's confrontations with Rome, we've got just the video recommendation for you. We believe it will take you on another epic journey through the tides of history. We hope our content continues to inspire and feed your thirst for knowledge. Please don't forget to click, subscribe, and share, letting more people experience the allure of history. Thank you all.